In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as we come today to journey with you on your way to Calvary, we ask that we may be inspired, we may be encouraged, and that we too may emulate you in humility, accepting everything that you send our way. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. False accusation can be one of the most brutal forms of human betrayal. Jesus himself was condemned for doing nothing wrong. When we feel condemned, belittled and humiliated, let us turn to the Lord and say in the words of the psalmist, Deliver me from my enemies, my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil. From the bloodthirsty, save me. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross, thou hast redeemed the world. Our sins were not light. Jesus bore the burden of our sins on his shoulders. When we are faced with our own crosses and despair, let us draw strength from our Saviour and run to Him. For He has said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When life becomes difficult and we fall down, let us remember that Jesus fell too. Believing in the reassurance he gave St. Paul, saying, My grace is sufficient for you. Let us draw strength from our Saviour and run to him when we fall down. Jesus Christ crucified have mercy on me. King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget Thy thorn-crowned brow Lead me to Calvary Lest I forget Gethsemane Lest I forget Thine Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Saint Jose Maria Escriva says, When you see the storm coming, if you seek safety in that firm refuge which is Mary, 
there will be no danger of your wavering or going down. Jesus must have been so strengthened after meeting his mother. When we face trials in our lives, we too must turn to her because through her we shall be strengthened too. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Very often we focus on our own problems, our own crosses, that we refuse to see the sufferings and crosses of others. Sometimes we do not see that they suffer as much as we do. As St. Paul tells us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, let us bear one another's burdens, and in this way let us fulfill the law of Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by the Holy Cross thou hast redeemed the world. Veronica and Simon inspire us to reach out to the suffering, the neglected, those in pain, those who are victims of injustice, and those who are lonely. Jesus tells us in the Beatitudes, Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Let us also be merciful and reach out to others in their pain. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. He was despised and rejected by all, a man of sorrows, a man of grief, as one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Meeting failure can be disappointing and frustrating for us. We come close to giving up. Our Savior also fell. Yet he got up once again and continued his journey. When we fall repeatedly, we lose hope. Let us draw strength from God's promise in Isaiah 41.10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by the Holy Cross thou hast redeemed the world. 
When Jesus sees these women weeping, Jesus tells them, Weep not for me, but for yourselves and your children. Yet these women, in their simplicity, shared Jesus' pain by weeping for him. Sometimes we don't have to do great things. A mere presence can make a big difference to someone who is suffering. St. Paul tells us in Romans 12, 15, Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by the Holy Cross thou hast redeemed the world. Falling again and again, repeatedly, can be painful. It can be humiliating. But for those of us who trust in the Lord, redemption is always at hand. For the psalmist tells us, the Lord upholds those who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising again, I bless your name, you my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up, when I am dry, you fill my cup, you are my all. station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus is stripped of his last shred of dignity as a human. The king of the universe stands exposed. Yet he accepts the will of his father, through all the humiliation and pain. The Lord reminds us in Isaiah, do not fear for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged for you will not suffer disgrace. Let us seek refuge in him when we are in pain and suffer disgrace in the eyes of the world. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. There is nothing in this world that Jesus wouldn't endure to redeem us. And he bore the nails of our sin. Let us ask for forgiveness for the times our sin drove the nails into his hands and feet all over again. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The twelfth station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, 
because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. Jesus' death has purchased eternal life for us. Let us thank our Father in heaven for this wonderful gift of love. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus is taken down from the cross and laid in the arms of his mother. She mourns her son, and the sword that has pierced her heart seems to drain every drop of blood. Yet, she too trusts in the will of God. When hope seems bleak, let us seek solace in the arms of our mother. She held the body of her son. She will hold us too. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on me. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Sometimes darkness surrounds us, and pain is all that we can feel. In these hopeless situations, let us remember that Christ rose and conquered darkness. In him we have hope of renewal and redemption from the darkness of sin. His burial in the tomb was not the end. Rather, it was a new beginning. Jesus Christ, crucified, have mercy on me. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, Thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave us Jesus to be the sacrificial lamb for us. Thank you, Father, for the love that you bestow on us through Jesus. May we always heed his voice. May we always listen to him. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.